Do you want to learn how to take amazing photos that will wow your friends and family? Right now, Udemy has online photography courses that will give you the skills you need to shoot beautiful photos, regardless of your experience. Udemy's best-selling courses are highly rated and have helped thousands of people just like you bring their art to life. And for a limited time, get up to 75% off. Just click the button below to get started now. We're so confident this course will take your photo skills to the next level. There's even a 100% money-back guarantee. No questions asked. This course begins with the fundamentals, teaching you everything you need to know to compose beautiful images by using photography basics. You'll learn how to shoot in different scenarios like family portraits, landscapes, aerial, product, wildlife, and much more. You'll become comfortable with exposure, composition, focus, depth of field, camera anatomy, white balance, color, and editing. There are even lectures devoted specifically to different types of lenses and cameras. But that's not all. We want to make sure this is the most comprehensive and fun photography course you've ever taken. So you'll learn step by step how to light your subjects with flash and natural lighting. And as a bonus, you'll also learn how to take amazing photos with your smartphone. This course is packed with over 20 hours of on-demand content that you can enjoy at any time and from any device. Plus, you're protected by a 100% money-back guarantee. So go ahead and click the button below to claim your limited time offer and start taking the photos of your dreams. Whether you prefer taking photos of nature, animals, or people, great photographers know how to compose a shot, light it, and edit. By honing these skills, you can even sell your photos and turn your passion into a career. This course shows you how, and there's zero risk to get started. So what are you waiting for? Thousands of students have improved their photography techniques by taking Udemy's top-rated courses. Click the button below to unleash your potential and take stunning photos right now. 10-14-2012, 735 AM Pacific Standard Time, Sunday morning. What do people in the world want to know? They want to know what to do before the fact, not after the fact. Now, what we have here is Chipotle Mexican Grill weekly chart. This is an earnings preview for our MMTs and our international traders worldwide. What we want to focus that when we sold short Chipotle Mexican Grill in the last quarterly earnings, that's the last quarter, we have that live trade. We made lots of money on that thing. That thing dropped like a rock. And I can tell you that it's been one of the greater performers. Chipotle Mexican Grill is a leader. And there's lots of people that are short Chipotle Mexican Grill going into this report. And it could turn out to be a fatal mistake for one reason. And I'll share this with you now, MMT. On this weekly chart, we have a weekly sell signal that started over here when that earnings came out in the last quarter. And a weekly sell signal is a weekly sell signal. Chipotle Mexican Grill, on the other hand, does not experience these weekly sell signals. And the percent DS is at 17.79%. I will tell everyone, going into the earnings... A lot of that news, there is a big hedge fund that is short to Pulte Mexican Grill, which caused this stock last week to drop, well, it dropped $29. When we did the earnings short, we bought up and out of the money, $350 calls, and we made a lot of money. We got right up to that resistance of this weekly half bar, and it was time to get off board. And that, that was the volatility trade from the last quarterly earnings, which was a great trade down here on this weekly work got straight down here now this weekly sell signal is what it is now let me go over here on the other parts of the chart i to get a weekly sell signal like this i've got to go back four years and i will zoom this piece of the chart up for my mmt this is the last time in 2008 in the financial crisis chipotle mexican grill was still in its early growth cycle but it had its corrections like always and it had a weekly sell signal back in the financial crisis. That's the only time. This is the only time that we had the weekly sell signal. You want to go back to 2006? It never even had weekly sell signals over there when it was very young. And we got close, but it never did it. So what I'm trying to tell my MMTs is, is that looking at uh, and, and this is a weekly chart. Here's Chipotle Mexican Grill. What we will take a look at 
They report earnings on October 18th after the close. It's going to trade a certain way, and I don't believe that Chipotle Mexican Grill has a lot of headways and and, and it, it has headways in a few different things. We won't talk about the fundamental part other than in the last quarter they did guide everything down to try to pull these numbers in line and were oversold right here on this weekly bar. And you can see right here how we traded that long position up. Then that wall of resistance hit it right here. The tops, half of the weekly bar, and it got slammed right back down here. Now, on Friday, Chipotle Mexican Grill traded from 285 up to 291. It only had a $6.09 range on the intraday process, up $4.11. One of the things about the earnings season is how we can go over here now and take a look at the $280 put. Which, at the time, that's $280 put. I will draw the trend line. They were cheap down here. For a dollar, it was great. And then they went all the way up here. And they got inflated at $13.45. Since then, they've come down almost 100%. And this is the 280 put, which is exactly... Let's take a look. That's ten dollars below the market, so it's out of the money below the market. Two eighty put. That's made a fantastic run to the highs when Chipotle Mexican Grill on this daily chart, uh, on this weekly chart. You can see when this thing was selling down here last week that this put option went to the moon, and they pay money when Chipotle Mexican Grill falls. Now on the flip side. I'm going to go over here and take a look at this $300 call. So let's put the put up in here in the video. Here is the calls on Chipotle Mexican Grill. They were up here at $52 a contract. Now they're down here at all-time lows. They've never been this deflated. And we're going into an earnings. Yes, it's a monthly contract. So they're only going to have one day to trade. So Chipotle Mexican Grill has to make a huge move in the earnings for those calls to pay. Because it's a monthly expiration and they're going to expire Friday, yes, they are deflated in this price range, but if anything happens with it, they can get a lot more deflated. However, what we will do is we'll look at what that $300 call up and out of the money is for the upside of the earnings. And at the same very time, depending on how this thing trades up, you know, Chipotle Mexican Grill is going to have a trading range going into the earnings on, on, on the 18th. And we very well could have to purchase tomorrow. Because the thing about it is, if they're going to run this name higher into the earnings on, on, on the 18th, then most definitely, what are we going to want? We're going to want these calls over here. And once again, this is a call chart that people, you know, lots of people trade options. They're not market makers in the option pit. And even the retail public, they all want to trade options. Never seen a call chart or put chart uh, on a percent level of the majority of the people. But then they're always out here trying to make these grandiose decisions on how to trade options without looking at the data and having anything to, you know, work with correctly. So basically, we have up and out of the money volatility. Chipotle Mexican Grill had exactly 927,000 shares. It's a light volume stock. Now, when we look at the weekly chart uh, that I've showed you, is, is that we're oversold on Chipotle. And this is the uh, put side that's made its move. That's the $280 put. And we're going to watch and see exactly what Chipotle Mexican Grill does between now and the 18th so that we can take both sides of the trade. And what do I mean by that? If Chipotle Mexican Grill wants to run back toward the $300 level going into the earnings, that means that this short-term $300 call pays should the uptrend continue from Friday and run back up 
into the wall of resistances on this weekly chart you can see right here that I'm going to draw a trend line on this weekly chart and that's three hundred dollars right here and that's half of that weekly bar right here so basically and it's also where the major pullback was over here in calendar 2011 right there this trend line is where BAM all-time highs now is Chipotle Mexican Grill overbought at this level no does it have some of the last quarterly bad earnings that it had to adjust to and get out of the way that's in the name right now going into the quarter and we are on a weekly level in my view in an oversold territory so come Monday morning which will be on 1015 the first order of business is to figure out what Chipotle Mexican Grill is going to do in pre-market because it's not unheard of to run the name higher going into the earnings in anticipation of a good report or a different one and that, that they could at least come in line with their numbers so depending on what happens on Monday morning we'll take one side trade now if this is going to go higher of course we're going to want to buy the calls do we buy the puts right away no because if we're going to run up toward 300 that means that this put option is going to come all the way back down here and they could take all the premium out and come down to three to four dollars right in here from this current level comes all the way down here if we run up toward 300 they're going to take all the premium out that means that the call side right here in this video this this is your call this is three hundred dollar call monthly expiration yeah it is and they report on the 18th now if we run up tomorrow that means that this goes up in value and this side over here on the 280 put comes all the way back down in value so before they report we have to get one side of the trade so if they want to continue to sell down well we would buy some short-term puts and then these calls would continue to fall in value if Chipotle Mexican Grill trades down to 280 then these $300 calls are going to come way down so this is the trade management scenario for Chipotle Mexican Grill we don't see where the report on the earnings is is that they should come in line they should have worked off the negative uh, levels that were in their distribution channels and the Taco Bell story about people want to eat at Taco Bell over Chipotle Mexican Grill well go eat it go eat at Taco Bell Chipotle Mexican Grill is a much finer company and much better food Yum Brands did okay uh, in the quarterly earnings last week and there have been people who have been coming out defending Chipotle Mexican Grill some of the analysts a big short seller hedge fund is uh, short the name I think that in the short term that that hedge fund that is short Chipotle going into this quarterly earnings could have what we call the house of pain meaning that in these back-to-back -back quarters when a stock falls this much in the leadership as they try to work all those negative earnings down where they can come in line with them or beat them and guide up and say that the story is better and we're going to be all over this on Monday morning and once again it's about the deflated call where the premium is at its low levels they can go lower but they're tradable going into the earnings or the day after the earnings report and same thing with this 280 put this 280 put could go right back up in value and we would have to trade that it depends on what Chipotle Mexican Grill is gonna do starting tomorrow morning and the old saying is you can sell it down going into the report or you can walk those bids a lot higher and walk the stock higher in anticipation of a turnaround and this is how we treat the earnings season and we will take one of the sides right away you can't buy both sides of the market on Chipotle Mexican Grill on the same day we have to establish Monday's trading which way the trend goes but I am telling people right now on that weekly chart that I show right here this is going to be the wall of resistance that's going to be the 10 week moving average and that's at 306 so any move from here to there is is that Chipotle Mexican Grill's trend is in a severe bear trend why is that the 10 week is going down you had four weeks closing below it that makes it a bear trend a bull trend is when the 10 week is rising 
and the 20 week is rising that's a bull trend this is a bear trend and it's in a deep weekly oversold where there has not been very many opportunities to get long in an oversold condition with a major headline event such as the earnings coming out and when you want to trade up and out of the money and below the market on both sides this is where we start getting in once again the $300 call up and out of the money it's not hey they walk these things these were $30 a contract look at how look at these are not expensive right here to trade going into the earnings they're, they're cheap they're deflated and you know the the put side here pulled back from $14 a contract that took 100% out these can still trade back up here going into the earnings so it's going to be one of the two sides that we get tomorrow morning I'm going to conclude earnings preview on Chipotle Mexican Grill we will go in depth with it after hours we will go through all of the fundamentals on it and what it looks like for 2013 as well and the year end.